Hi friends, good day and welcome to today on Princess Anu TV. Yeah, <laughs> my name is Princess Anu, and on this channel we talk about aviation, motivation, and adventure. And guys, today somebody asked a question that after the multi-engine rating, because I made a video concerning uh what how the ratings are done, the type ratings are done in flight school. So in case you've not watched that video, go watch that video. And I think it's when the person watched that video that she asked the question or he or she, I really don't know whether it's a he or is it she <laughs> when she asked the question that uh, after multi-engine rating, what next? So, I just want to give you a sneak peek of what next after multi-engine rating. Like, just run down on some things that you're definitely going to be doing immediately after you get your multi-engine rating. So, stay tuned, guys. I'll be right back. <laughs> guys and thank you for staying tuned to the channel i really really appreciate it and in case you've not yet subscribed please do me a favor click on the subscribe button click on the bell so that you don't miss any notifications of the channel anything i share whatsoever on the channel and now like i said we're going to be talking about what next after a multi engine rating what do you do next uh like you know the thing is um multi engine rating is going to be one of the final things you're going to do while in flight school but now after the multi engine rating there are a lot of other things that you are going to do while progressing or getting to the next phase of your uh like aviation career that, that's the word why get into the next phase because some people want to be cargo pilots some people want to fly as instructors initially you know to build hours a lot of people want to do flight instructor work and they build hours. Some people want to go straight into the airline. Some people want to, uh, like I said before, fly for the cargo uh, industry and later they may decide to fly passengers. So it all depends on what you want to do. So the first thing I'm going to say here is that what do you want to do? So what parts in the aviation, in your aviation career do you want to start on? If it's somebody that wants to go into flying, passengers in the long run the person is going to look for building to build 1500 hours so when you know what you want to do you go ahead to build in the line that you want to go so if you decide on your own and say okay i will want to fly in the regionals i want to fly uh in with the major carriers and all that then you have to go build your hours to be able to get there so going to build your hours is going to be the next step or the next thing you're going to do so how do you want to build these hours do you want to go so do you want to pay to build these hours do you want to which most people pay to build the hours do you want to fly with a friend like both of you combine money together then as this person is flying you fly as co-pilot to this person to gain your hours it depends on how you want to do it so it's still going to be a partnership you and your friend doing it together to get there or you want to go pay a flight because i've heard of some flight schools in south africa to be precise that actually do uh hour building like you pay them some amount of money so just like the way you did your hour building for your commercial pilot license because you know that to get your commercial pilot license you need at least 50 uh pic hours 50 hours pic then sometimes they also give you 50 hours like co-pilot out but the majority like one of the very important requirements is that you need 50 hours pic to be able to get your commercial pilot license so when you meet that requirement you know that okay you are good to go like you're a step forward there are other requirements anyways but that's one of the requirements so just like the way you did to build that hours that is also the same way that you have to uh work on to build those your 1500 hours and the thing is do you want to become an instructor like do you want to do the flight instructor stuff which is another phase that people go for immediately after the multi engine rating that's immediately after flight training so if you want to become a flight instructor if you want to become a flight a flight instructor that's correct <laughs> if you want to become a flight instructor you have to apply to a school that does the flight instructor rating I've not seen any school currently in Nigeria that does that, but there are a lot of schools, like a lot and a lot of schools that do flight instructors rating. But you know that some people feel that this school is better than this school. This school will give you more value than this other school. So go for a school that is well known to give value. And not only that, that is also in accordance with your pockets. Because me, I don't like 
personally i really don't like anything that's going to put somebody in debt like anything that you're going to do that you have to start breaking your head like oh god why did i enter into this or why am i spending so much money and all that so just go for something that has value and something that your pocket can actually accommodate because to me that's very very key so that you don't run into looking for money looking for money and looking for money that kind of thing anyways that's by the way so it's best that you actually go for one that you can afford and now you start going for the flight instructor rating so when you do the flight instructor rating then you are clear to become a flight instructor then the school which you did a flight instructor rating can also decide to retain you so it depends on maybe your performance it depends on your negotiation with them there are some schools that will tell you come and do your flight instructor work here after that we are going to retain you so it depends on your negotiation with them if you negotiate well they will retain you if you don't negotiate well or if they don't have that package then you're not going to have it. you have to go to another school that you are going to do like flight instructs based on you've already gotten the flight instructors uh certificate or flight instructors license so that's another part people take there are several other parts that people take now another part also is that there are people that just want to fly uh like private jets and all that so maybe their parents already have people in that line so it's easy for them the moment they finish they go get the rating which is another phase like even before you can fly with the airlines is it that the airlines are going to be the one like whichever airline you want to go to is it that the airline decides to train you like rates you because nowadays i've been reading a lot of posts and all that that because of how desperate people are to get jobs which is reasonable because after spending a lot of money you obviously need your money back and so when they say go spend maybe six million or seven million or eight million to go do a rating people are like okay compared to what i've spent let me just spend this get the money and you know move on so people still spend millions to also get that type rating that will give them that jet like jet rating it can be any jet whatsoever it may be so it depends on the path they want to follow so if they decide that okay they want to fly this private jet and this private jet are looking for pilots or they know that these private jets are going to need pilots in the nearest future they are going to rush go whichever way they want to get the money they go get the money and go there now when i'm saying whichever way i mean like good ways <laughs> i don't like when i sound like ambiguous sometimes like <laughs> i just want to make sure like i'm clear and everything i'm saying is like <laughs> So, but, but seriously, people go get the money and they go for the rating. So it depends on the part you want to follow. There are also some people that want to be fighter pilots. Like, I think when I wanted this, I just love fighter pilots. Like, people that are fighter pilots and people that are um, firefight, firefighters, like air firefighters. You know, there are people that fight air. Like, there are pilots that actually fight fire. That's what I mean. Sorry, firefighters. Uh, and... They are, that's their sole job like they join i really don't know the organization that they join to be able to get this but you know they're also pilots in the uh in red cross all these un you know it depends on the part you want to follow that's what i'm saying before you even come in decide on the part you want to follow flying or becoming a pilot is not just streamlined to going to fly for the airlines if you you need to do a lot of research so when people tell me that they want to come into aviation the first question i ask them is what part of aviation because Aviation is broad. It's very broad in the sense that you have a lot of sectors in the aviation industry. So even if you want to become a pilot, you have, there are several sectors even in this flying. Not everybody is going to become an airline pilot. Not everyone is going to become a cargo pilot. Not everyone is going to become a, there are people that fly just animals. Like yes, they carry cargo, but their own specialty is to fly animals maybe due to the company they joined or maybe due to their own flair or there are people that do that there are people that fly just medical uh medical supplies they just fly only things that are you know linked medically you know it depends on the sector maybe you are in an airline or it depends on the department you are in an airline or it just all these things just depend so what i'm going to say is that there is a lot that you still have to do and yeah there are more things i would like to talk about other ratings and licenses that people say you should likely get the moment you come out of flight school i'm going to talk about that in another video i didn't want to just bombard it here for to make this video too 
bulky or too chalky and <laughs> I really don't know. So we are still going to talk about that. I'm talking about all these GOC, MCC, all those things that people there is a list of them that people say go get so that it's going to make your license or it's going to make you a more marketable marketable pilot. So these are some of the things we are still going to talk about. But for now, let's just leave it at this. And so if you have more questions, if you have more concerns, personally I'm still making my research because I'm about going into that phase. I'm not yet get gotten into that phase, but because I ask questions because I read that's why I know most of these things and because I interact with people in this industry that's why i know even all these things that i'm telling you so guys this is all i have for you for this video if you've not subscribed please do me if you've subscribed sub subscribe <laughs> and yeah i'm going to be seeing you in the next video and don't forget always do well to stay safe be fine be happy and live your best life like that is very very important live your best life because you deserve the best you deserve the best in fact recently i've been telling myself everything good in this life is for me yes i i possess all the good things in this life I, i've been confessing it yeah i think you should start just see us you know for your own self <laughs> so it's like me too next video keep watching princess and tv bye guys <laughs>